So it's a flexible tube with a camera on the inside, a video camera on the inside. The um, tube itself is not much bigger than my finger, really, so it's pretty tiny. And uh, we can, there's, there's a the particular scope that we're interested in is quite small and it's used specifically for smaller children. Um, but we use endoscopy to examine the GI tract, to examine the stomach and the intestines and the colon of, of children um, of all ages, all the way up from small babies right the way through to 16 years. Um, and it would be nice if we didn't have to do these procedures, but sadly children get a whole variety of problems with their bowels that need endoscopic assessment. Uh, we do about um, between 12 and 15 a month, and it's certainly over 150 a year. Yes, yeah, so it's mostly for the children in the Wellington region, but we're we are providing the service now for increasing numbers of children coming from Hutt and from out of region too because as you know, pediatric surgery is organized with, as a, as a beyond the region as well. So we do outreach clinics in, in Wanganui and Hawke's Bay and so on. And many of these children are now being referred down for endoscopy because previously children would have to go to adult services. And it's not great for children going to an adult service because the adult specialists don't really understand the needs of small children. They're often very frightened. They sometimes have uh, endoscopies under sedation, whereas we do all of our endoscopies under general anaesthetic. Um, and there's a lot of kids out there with either rectal bleeding or problems with their bowels or problems swallowing or uh, abdominal pain and so on that need investigating with endoscopy. So that these scopes are designed for use only in children. And uh, it, there's one scope that's for the top part of the bowel and there's another scope for the bottom part of the bowel. So we would be uh, hoping to get these two scopes, which will enable us to examine virtually the whole bowel. The only bit we can't see is the middle bit of the bowel, um, which is examined in other ways. I think the so other thing to say, Bill, is that this is, a, uh, this is going to be a growing service too. There is no doubt in the last 18 months, the number of referrals has mushroomed. And it's not to say, uh, that's for two reasons. I think there are some children out there who have been denied endoscopy when they needed it because there wasn't the facility available for them necessarily before. And secondly, they were being um, investigated by adult services with all, you know, adult services do a great job for adults, but they aren't geared for children. You know, children need to come into a, a non-frightening environment, be looked after by nurses with children's skills and so on and so forth. And, and all that uh, is achievable now with our service. Things. I think there are some diseases like celiac disease that we know are particularly common in New Zealand and are probably on the increase as well. Yeah, so celiac disease is where you have um, an allergy to gluten in your diet um, and we know that the incidence of that is rising and that it's particularly common in New Zealand. And it's a nasty disease because it can creep up on the kids they, um, they get tummy aches, they get bloating, they get trouble with their bowels, they start to um, fall off the growth charts, they, they don't grow as well as they should, they get quite a bit of irritability. And it's amazing actually how often after we've treated um, celiac disease by removing gluten from the diet, just how uh, dramatically better the kids are, including their psychological and behavioral um, status. You know, they're, they're much, much better. Yeah. So that's, that's a really unpleasant disease, but we're also seeing inflammatory bowel disease, things like Crohn's disease or an ulcerative colitis in children. People often don't think of um, ulcerative colitis as affecting children, but it does. Um, we see uh, all the standard things too, like polyps, which are little um, growths in the bowel. Not cancerous, I hasten to say. Cancer is very rare in children, uh, in the bowel at least. Um, uh, so those are the main reasons. And ulcerative colitis is a really nasty disease that causes inflammation of the colon and bleeding. And I've got quite a few children that I help to look after who uh, have really nasty bloody diarrhea uh, and we rely a lot on endoscopy to see the extent of the disease and to work out how best to tailor the treatment for those children. Um, they land up often on steroid medication, you know, which makes them look a little bit puffy and so on. Um, but steroids are very effective for that condition. 
Um, and then there are uh, some newer therapies that have come around in the last 10 years or so, which are antibody type treatments. Uh, as you probably know, antibodies have really hit cancer therapy. Well, they've also hit other diseases like colitis, as we call it, and um, these antibodies have really improved the uh, well-being of these children with, with colitis. But you still need the endoscopies regularly to map the extent of the disease, to map the treat response to treatment and so on. So that's another um, situation where this endoscopy is really important.